This was for the state of the art of AI. How about the foundation of AI? AI is an interdisciplinary field, and several other disciplines have contributed to its progress. And this include mathematics, economics, linguistics, neuroscience, control theory and cybernetics, psychology, computer engineering, and finally philosophy. Given how broad the field is, it won't be possible to go every single contribution. However, let's go through the main concepts introduced by each of these disciplines. With no surprise, philosophers were the first AI contributors. They formulated ideas for AI, starting with Aristotle, 400 BC. They considered the mind as a machine or physical system operating as a set of logical rules. There have been different philosophy uh, movements, including rationalism, dualism, materialism, empiricism, induction, etc. But definitely philosophy was the, provided the foundation of learning, language, rationality, and AI. So how about mathematics? Mathematicians provided the tools to formalize and manipulate logic. They also worked out the details of propositional logic and first order logic. Mathematics also laid the ground for algorithms for logical deduction to draw valid conclusions. The first algorithm is believed to be the Euclid algorithms to calculate the greatest common divisor GCD. Finally, mathematicians also contributed with a theory of probability, invaluable to help deal with uncertainty in the real world. Economists provided the formal theory of rational decisions to maximize what they call payoff or utility. They combined decision theory and probability theory for decision making under uncertainty. They also addressed game theory in which an agent is planning to maximize its utility in the presence of an opponent who is aiming or planning against uh, him. Economists also formalized Markov decision processes as a class of sequential decision problems with the Markov property. Neuroscience contributed to AI progress by addressing how brain functions and how brains and computers are similar or dissimilar. A good progress has been made so far in understanding how the brain functions, and we could expect more involvement within the, in AI in the next decades or so. Psychologists care about how we think and act. Cognitive psychology specifically perceives the brain as an information processing machine. Le it led to the development of the field of cognitive science. How could computer models and used to study language, memory, and thinking from a psychological perspective? Another important discipline contributing to AI is computer engineering that cares about how to build powerful machines to make AI possible. For example, although the idea of self-driving cars or autonomous driving has been there for decades, it became only possible today thanks to advances in computer engineering. Control theory and cybernetics aim to design simple optimal agents receiving feedback from the environment. Today, modern control theory designs systems that maximize an objective functions over time, which gets AI and control theory today closer disciplines than ever. Finally, linguistics care about how our languages and thinking related. And today, modern linguistics and AI form what we call computational linguistics or natural language processing, which is a very important piece in natural language understanding in artificial intelligence. The list of AI founders is huge. Uh, this list is not meant to be exhaustive in any way. I just provided some uh, famous names who contributed to AI, but the list is very long, and it's actually longer today with more contributors coming from statistics, from computer science, and other fields that we just mentioned. How about AI resources? There are tons and tons of AI resources that cover uh, both the history of AI and also the, the technical side, the algorithms and methods of AI. You could also tap and read articles from the major journals and conferences, and this include the Journal of Artificial Intelligence, TPAMI, GMLR, HKI, AAAI, uh, etc., that actually uh, have very uh, state-of-the-art methodologies and progress could be found there. If you rather prefer to watch videos, there is a large selection of video lectures on videolectures.net in which you have different subtopics of artificial intelligence and also artificial intelligence itself that you could uh, watch. So how about AI history? AI is a broad field with a long history. It went through ups and downs, successes and failures, optimism and disappointment, big enthusiasm with large funding, and then cut in funding, and so on and so forth. It is now maturing. But we could summarize the history of AI along this uh, big lines. The gestation of AI occurred in the 40s and 50s and started with the Boolean circuit to model the brain from McCulloch and Pitts. 
Another big event that happened during this uh, this time is Turing's Computing Machinery and Intelligence article that you could actually check in this, there are, it's archives in this uh, link here, in which uh, Alan Turing has uh, laid down the principles of artificial intelligence and designed his Turing test or imitation game to test machine for intelligence. The years between 50s and 70s has, have witnessed early enthusiasm and great expectation for AI, starting with early AI program in chess and also in checkers, such as Samuel's checkers program. A big event also happened, which is the birth of AI altogether, in a meeting called the Dartmouth Meeting in 1956, in which Paul McCarthy actually coined the term artificial intelligence. I invite you to check out the MIT video, The Thinking Machine, on YouTube, in which you will see several researchers being interviewed about AI. And you could see their early enthusiasm and great expectation about what AI can do in the next few years. The years 70s and 90s have known the development of knowledge-based systems where early exp expert systems have known industry booms, and then they collapsed, leading to the AI winter. Finally, the availability of very large data sets is another important aspect of AI today, as data will drive future discoveries and alleviate the complexity of artificial intelligence. Agents are everywhere and data is everywhere, which will speed up discoveries and research and progress in AI for science and society.